Hey everyone, this is round two of my playthrough of the Poison Pill scenario in the Perils of the Lost Coast adventure that came with the Pathfinder adventure card game Rise of the Rune Lords box. This was, I think, just like an introductory adventure or something. And uh, it's turning out to be pretty fun, actually. I'm quite enjoying it. So Kira is all alone in the general store. Harsh has just closed the city gates. And we need to flip over a timer card. And uh, I feel good about the timer deck because Harsk did close the city gates before the deck was depleted. So we've got kind of like six turns back, as it were. I mean, it's six turns that we don't have to flip a timer for because we're never going to look at those cards at the city gate. I mean, unless I want to. Potion of Gracefulness. This requires an intelligence of six. Intelligence check of six. Well, she has an intelligence of of a d6. So actually, I think I'll do this die. She rolled a five, so nope, doesn't get it. That's okay. Potions are a little bit funny because they are really only one use items. And I mean, that's fine, but it's, uh, I don't know. I don't, f I don't feel too bad when I don't get a potion. Okay. So now we're flipping the timer deck over and we have to figure out where Harsk is going to go. And I think as with the previous scenario, <clears throat> I think I'm I'm kind of with this party especially. I really feel good about them not being together because he Harsk can help an ally at a different location, and and when they're in different locations, if one of them does encounter the villain, then the other one can lock down that location, leaving the villain in this scenario because there's only one other lo open location, the villain would only have one other place to run to, and then we'd know where the villain was. So there's really no reason to keep the party together. Uh, so I'm going to send Harsk to the village house. Although a far cry from the mansions of wealthy nobles, or the keeps of powerful lords, this cozy house has the look of comfort, uh, of a comfortable and reasonably well-kept home. Warm light pours from the windows, gilding the silhouettes of the occupants going about their lives inside, and colorful, colorful bird feeders and wind chimes give it a bit of personality. Okay. Oh, wait. Is there a global, is there a local rule? Yes. At this location, when attempting a check to acquire an ally, you may instead recharge a card to automatically acquire an ally. Well, we will absolute be, uh, absolutely be doing that. That's like a free ally. Here's an ally. Speaking of allies, uh, she's a ranged combat ally, too. Oh, this is brilliant. This is exactly what Harshka needed, like a backup. Shalelu Andosana. Anderson, uh, um, she's, f yeah, I think I vaguely remember her from the Rune Lord's book, from the adventure. So he could make a wisdom perception to try. No, no, he can't. The rule is, the rule is, you may instead recharge. Doesn't say you can recharge if you fail a check. Oh, he should, he should have more cards than this in his hand. But that's okay. I'll just, um, well, is it okay though? Because, yeah, no, it's not okay. He should, he, he would have drawn up before this turn he would or not before this turn he would have drawn up at the end when he closed the city gate i just forgot so now he has a hand of five cards now he can choose what to recharge i'm going to recharge the star knife it uses his melee uh, bonus that's not really his strength his skill that's not really his best skill recharge it sending that to the bottom of his discard deck gaining the ally which i think is really going to be really a great ally to have. You are not getting discarded, Shalalu, don't worry. Uh, oh, plus she doesn't explore anyway, so yeah, she doesn't she doesn't explore. Oh no, wait, reveal this card on your turn to examine the top card of your location. Oh, well, Harsk does that anyway. Although, not, not at the beginning of your turn. 
Reveal this turn on your turn, so she can scry for free. Wow, I really like this card. This is really cool. Okay, that's great to have. Wow, I'm really, really happy that we got that. Okay, so, anyhow, she's got... We, we've got Harsk has... Oh, five cards, okay. Well, anyway, he has a Blessing. I'm feeling good about our timer deck, but I'm impatient, so I'm going to discard a Blessing anyway. Is that a smart thing to do? It is not a smart thing to do. He's not discarding. He's going to scry for free because he's Harsk. And there's a scout. Yeah, I'm actually glad I didn't get rid of the... This is an enemy scout. I don't know why the scout is angry at at Harsk. Probably because this dude um, is an ally of Pillbug. That, that would be the logical assumption. Anyway, he's going to try to kill Harsk. Well, Harsk sees him coming. I have just scried on the wrong deck. <laughs> that that this was the one. Okay, zombie. Harsk sees the zombie coming. He's not going to waste a blessing. I th I see my problem. Okay, I'm going to move Harsk and his location down here by Harsk's deck so that Kira is then by her deck. That's the key. Okay, so anyway, my point being, I'm not going to waste a turn essentially on just uh, an extra turn on looking at, at on fighting a zombie. So I'm going to I don't know if that logic makes sense, but in my mind it makes sense. Um so did I draw up to 5? Yes. It is now Kira's turn. A scout. Look at that. It must be a friend of Pillbug's, and she, he must be out to kill the, the adventurers that have come to town to put a stop to the evil doings. Okay, the difficulty to defeat the scout is increased by the adventure deck number. There is no adventure deck number. This is adventure B or something like that, so that does not apply. Before the encounter, the scout deals 1d4 minus 1 range to combat. That does apply, and boy do I hate that. It would be cool if if there was a rule on there where if you didn't if you saw the scout coming, not that we did, but if you you know like if 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 the ranger had scried and saw the scout that that damage wouldn't apply, it would apply because that that's not the scenario. Um, okay, three minus one, so two. So he's dealing two damage to Kira just outright, and that's fine, actually. Holy Water, as I've said, it's an undead thing, so discard this card to evade a bane with the undead, uh, undead trait. Uh, would be good for Harsk right now, I guess. Um, but she has that naturally because she's a cleric anyway, so she doesn't actually need a bottle of Holy Water for it. And the spy Spyglass helps perception. Well, it didn't help her see the scout coming, I guess, so... Oh well. Um, okay, so that's two damage. Three minus one. And now we go to battle. Um, well, Kira has a... What does she have as her strength in melee? She's got a d6 plus two. So she's got a two bonus. To get rid of this guy. And then she's going to reveal her glaive. Which gives her the ability to roll her... Strength melee die, and a d10. So we are now officially in Valeros territory here. Uh, oh, if you're not proficient with weapons. No, she is proficient with weapons. She is not proficient with weapons. Okay, so this weapon is not quite as useful as I thought. Um... Well, maybe it is. If you fail a combat check with this weapon, you may discard this card to ignore the result and re-roll with dice. Re-roll re the dice. Okay, wow. Hmm. So, the scout is an 8, currently. 9, 10, 11, 12 is what he is with the penalty for using a glaive. But that gets knocked back down to 10 because she's got that inherent melee bonus for being a good fighter. A 10 across a d6 and a d10, I actually feel like there's a fighting chance. But wait. 
We also have Harsk, not at that location. He is able to recharge a card. And I think he's going to have to recharge a blessing. Why not? It's not like he's losing it. He's just recharging it. So he recharges a blessing. Takes out his bow. And shoots at this guy through like an open door of the general store. From the village house. I don't know how far away that is, but uh, it's pretty good. pretty good aim. A, a 10 on this? Yeah, I feel good about this. Okay, so... Do a, a three, six, so he she can't roll less than a one on a d10. So we've got 10, 11, 12. This guy is vanquished. Now, this was just a monster, too. That's not even a henchman. So that glaive is not great for her. Uh, it really needs to be in a Harsk's hand unfortunately i hate to do that because because that really that was nice um i mean it is a nice weapon you know like a d10 bonus but that's a really costly that's a costly penalty increased difficulty by four okay so that's the end of her turn she's got a, a three so she can now do uh one Two, she can't play any of these right now because this is the end of her turn. She does have this mending spell, and she could discard this card to discard discard this one. No, why would I? Why would I pay you, game, for the privilege of discarding a card? That's just crazy. This is not a this is not a spell that I like. I'm getting rid of this spell as soon as I can. That's stupid. Okay, so uh, let's see. So well, well, we know what we're in for uh, with Harsk because he. I mean, we knew what we we weren't supposed to know what we were in for with with Kira. We do know what we're in for with Harsk because he was able to scry. That's a zombie. Do I care? I don't believe I do because we've got so many options here that I feel pretty good about combat right now. So he reveals the card. It's a zombie and it's a nine. Nine. Well, um, he has a plus three to his ranged attacks. And he's got a light crossbow that he can reveal to add a d8 to his dexterity roll. So he will be rolling two d8s to get essentially a six. That's a seven with just one of the d8s that he had to roll. So he has defeated this zombie. And the zombie is dead. It's easy. Um, I could discard this blessing. For another free ex explore t round. I don't think I am going to, though. I think I'm just going to end his turn there. This is his black cloth armor, which gives him a bonus to a uh, bonus of one to his combat. So as long as he's going ranged, he'll have a... He'll have a bonus of plus four for his combat, which is nice. This is, of course, I'm I'm remixing this game a little bit and actually using stuff from Skulls and Shackles, which is not officially sanctioned. It's not what you're you're not supposed to mix the decks, and I just don't care because it's fun. Kira's turn, taking over a timer card. Uh, did she, yeah, so. I guess we'll just explore. And we find an elven chain shirt. That's fancy looking. This is a constitution fortitude check of six. Her constitution is a six plus three. So she has to roll a three or above on a d6. 
she rolls a five. Oh, this is nice. I'm, I'm, I like this. So reveal this card to reduce ki combat damage uh, dealt to you by one. Banish it to reduce all damage. If you're proficient with light armor, she is. Uh, you may recharge this card when you reset your hand. I still don't know what reset your hand means. I guess it just means... I don't know what that means. I'm going to have to look that up. All right. So she has got six cards in her hand. At the end of her turn, she's not able to do that. So before I end her turn, I'm going to expend a Blessing of the Gods. I'm going to just discard that to explore again for free. And she comes up against a sneak. The difficulty to defeat this sneak is increased by the adventure deck number. There is no adventure deck number. So before the encounter succeeded a wisdom or perception eight or discard one card from uh, of your choice. Well, you remember that Spyglass, I was saying, was of no use. That would have been useful right now. Okay. So, it's okay, because she, she, I mean, she's not, you know, wisdom is definitely a, a trait of hers that is, uh, that's good. Not, it's not perception necessarily, but it's a d12. So, wisdom, d12, no bonuses in this case. And she rolled a five on a d12, so that fails. So she has to discard a card of her choice. Well, I mean, I guess I'm gonna discard this stupid spell, which I now hate. Um, so that's gone. Now we're in battle. And the problem is that her weapon that I was really excited about isn't really all that great. It increases the difficulty by four. So yes, she could go to battle with a plus two bonus to her melee. She could go to battle with a d6 and a d10. And we'd be looking for a 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, minus 2. So an 11 across these two die. Yeah, you only live once. 9. That's a good start. So she needs to roll a 2 or, or more. And she rolled a f 6. So that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's like 17 to beat a, a 13, 13 monster. So great, monster's dead. No damage taken. That's what we like. That's, that's the idea. And now she will draw up one card. She's got armor everywhere. And just one weapon that, that she doesn't, she, she's not very good at using, unfortunately. So, I guess, you know, I could get rid of this glaive with a mending spell. <clears throat> okay, timer deck. Um, and let's see, that's timer deck. And so it's Harsk's turn. So he will explore. It's a treasure map. Now, this is a barrier, not from Skull and Shackles, interestingly. If defeated, you get to examine the top card of the location deck. Uh, if it is a boon, which he was supposed to have done, and I forgot to do it again. If it is a boon, you may add it to your hand. That's cool. That that would be nice. What does he need to do that? Intelligence? Wisdom? Survival? Harsk is a ranger. Um, does he have a survival bonus? Yes, he does. Survival is his wisdom die plus two, so that's a d6 plus two to get a six. Got a six. Plus two is eight. So he gets the treasure map. And the benefit here is that he gets to scry, which is great, but if it's a boon, so if it's not a bad card, he gets to add it to his hand. It is a blessing. He gets to add it to his hand. All right, that worked out. That was a good turn. So this is a blessing of Saren Ray, which um, coincidentally is Kira's god. So that's kind of nice thematically. 
Discard this card to add one die to a check. Discard this card to add two die to a non-combat constitution check. And discard this card to explore your location. He does have too many cards in his hand right now. So I think he's going to discard this card to explore his location. I really don't see any... Yeah, I mean, when it comes down to either discarding or not discarding, or, or discarding with nothing or discarding with a benefit, it's just the blessings are great for that. Grizzled Mercenary. This is an ally. So there's a plus two to acquire this guy. Charisma. Oh, that's Harsk's worst trait. Two plus two is four. So the Grizzled Mercenary is not something... He, he chooses not to come along with us, unfortunately. I think he's missing out, but that's the choice that he has made. Okay, so that's everyone. And now, uh, timer deck. Kira. Explore. Poison Trap. Well, that's kind of funny, because there's only one card in this deck left. Um, if defeated, you may immediately attempt to close... I'd rather just be able to explore again, frankly. Okay, so what do I do? I forget. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this is a intelligence disable check. Nothing to help me there. So it's just an intelligence check, which for Kira is a d6. So she needs to get a 5 on this d6. She got a one. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so if undefeated, discard the top card of your deck. Then each character at this location must succeed at a constitution or fortitude or be dealt further damage. Okay, well that's... Okay, so she doesn't take damage from that one. I was thinking, like in combat, you take the damage, the difference between what you were trying for and what you got. But it sounds like if you're because this is a henchman poison trap, if undefeated, discard the top card, okay? Top card, what was it? What was it? Guidance. That's too bad. Um so we've discarded the top card. Then each character at this location, she's the only character, must succeed at a constitution 7. Constitution Fortitude is a D6 plus 3 for her. So that could be a, an okay thing. She's got a chance. 2. Alright, she fails that. So she gets a 1D4 minus 1 poison damage. Oh yeah, I forgot she, um, she only rolls 2s. I, I forgot about that, about Kira. Four minus one. This went from a minor inconvenience to being really, really bad. So uh, four minus one poison damage for Kira. And the henchman remains undefeated, which isn't terrible because um, one, two, three cards gone. Okay, well, guess what? She has a potion of healing, so she's going to banish this card and choose a character at her location. She'll choose herself to shuffle 1d4 random cards from her discard back into her deck. So she's going to do that. Because she only rolls a 2, I assume she'll roll a 2. Oh, she rolled a 4. She must not be feeling herself today. So we get 4 cards from her discard pile, which is substantial. Um, and we'll shuffle, or we'll take four cards randomly. I'm sure it will be the cards that I don't like. Uh, oop, oop, oop. Okay, there we go. Uh, no problem. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, am I supposed to look at them? Oh, three blessings and mending. It's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Whatever. It's 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 cards in her discard deck, which is what was important. Um, oh, and she's got a cure spell. Look at that. Reveal this card. Choose a character at your location. She could choose herself. Shuffle 1d4 plus 1 random cards. Then discard. 
succeed at a divine eight check to recharge instead of discarding. That's an option for some, for a, 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 a later date. It's definitely an option. It's good to know about. Okay, so it's it's Harsk's turn. Uh, there's only one more card in her location, so I'll play through Harsk and then I'll play her uh, and close that location out for this round. Uh, Harsk, hopefully this isn't the villain. You know what? Wait, wait. I would have known that was the villain because Harsk gets to scry. So at the end of his turn, he would have found the villain there. I would have known that. I'm going to just eat that turn and turn over this blessing. I'm going to let her explore this location further. Try to get this staff, which is a wisdom divine check, which is her, um, which is divine plus two and a d12. Seven, eight, nine. I think she needed a seven. Okay, perfect. So she gets a staff of minor healing. Recharge this card, choose a character at your location, and get one random card. Well, I'll do that right now, thanks. So recharge the staff that she just acquired, get an extra card from her deck. She's got five cards now, that's good. Oh, did she have armor that she could have prevented that damage? She did. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. All right, so she can now close the general store. And to do that, she has to banish a card. That's the worst. Uh, so what do I want to never see again? I mean, really, none of these. I don't want to I, I banish any of these. I guess um, I'll just banish this guard. I mean, she could banish the glaive. But I really do think that this would be great for her to give to Harsk. So I want them to end up at the same location so she can give this to Harsk. Or, I mean, yeah, yeah. I was going to say she could give it to... Um, I'm banishing the guard. She can give it to him between games, too. You're allowed to do that. Okay, so that's... and if, So this location is now closed. Draw back up to five at the end of her turn. She's got five cards now, and now she is a free agent. Harsk is still here. We know because he scried at the end of his turn. I forgot, but I mean, he did... We'll say that he scried at the end of his turn. We know that the villain is standing right there. So I think the next turn I'm going to eat again to get rid of... to, to, um, to just burn through through Harsk's turn. At the end of his turn, where w during which he does nothing, he draws back up to five. He's already got five cards. He can scry again. He's still the villain. And now it is Kira's turn. So I am going to send her to the town square. And the reason I'm doing that is because when Harsk goes to battle with this villain, we will be able to close temporarily this location, and then we can battle the villain. Or we could go explore here to uncover some cards, and then come back down here to face to have a face off with the villain. So we have options, and that's a good thing to have. So I'll. I'll I'll explore those options next time. Thanks for watching.